Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you a really simple and really effective technique that you can do with paint markers and watercolor. And it's going to look something like this. For this tutorial you're going to need a paint pen of some sort. I have one here from Artistro and one from Posca and they both work for this technique. If you have a paint pen from a different company you might want to just test that it's going to stay waterproof or at least uh, water resistant when we get to the second step. But these two I've tested and Artistro and Posca both work for this. You're also going to need some watercolors. I'm going to be using this little set here I have from Stone Ground Paint Company. And of course you're going to need a brush and some water. First off you're going to draw the image that you want to paint later. So I'll draw two different ones, one with this blue pen and one with the black pen. And then you can sort of see the difference between the two colors. I'm also using a watercolor journal, so I would recommend using some sort of watercolor paper to start as well. Alright, so I've done one drawing of a coelacanth, which is a little more complex. I thought the blue suited a fishy drawing. And then with the black, <laughs> hello Mina, and then with the black marker I have drawn some leaves. And the word Friday, because it is Friday for me right now, but also because I think that this technique would be really cool in bullet journaling uh, if you do that sort of thing. Now let these drawings dry completely, 100%, and then we can move on to painting. Now for the coelacanth over here, I'm going to mostly stay within the lines of the drawing. And I'm using a sort of glittery paint, I think it'll look cute. But within the lines of the drawing, you can let the watercolor do what it does best. And 
and then you'll get the best of both worlds, the crispness of the paint pen mixed with the flow and natural effects of the watercolor. Now for the leaves here, I'm gonna do a slightly different look and I'm gonna do a bit of an offset style like you might see in old comic books which used offset printing or in screen printing. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of pigment here and I'm gonna recreate the shape of the leaf slightly offset from the leaf itself. Hi Mina. this is just a really simple quick technique that makes an interesting looking graphic. And over here on the word Friday I'm basically just going to highlight it with a nice wash of watercolor. Right? Isn't that cool? I just think it looks really good. <laughs> That's maybe a bit dark. Let's let's thin that out. Okay, now it's legible. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I really enjoy this technique. And if you do happen to try it out, please feel free to tag me on Instagram and I'll share it to my Instagram stories. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.